All right, welcome back. Here's a sort of riddle. What do flying, shipping, and storing stuff have in common? Well, the answer, kind of a trick question, not much, except all three have big-name companies rolling out their earnings this week, and they just happen to be the names and the themes behind today's edition of Earnings Exchange, CBC contributor, KKM Financial CEO, Jeff Kurt Kilberg is here to help make sense of these trades. All right, Jeff, you're a Chicago guy. I'm a Newark guy. So let's talk about a company I guarantee you both of us know very well. United Airlines shares soaring this year are up almost 60 percent. But some new concerns about future demand. Delta's recent report didn't help. But overall, though, analysts still optimistic on the stock. One sell rating, 21 buys. What's your take on United Airlines? My take, so in United, is I want to trim, I want to profit. Say, you're absolutely right, and I know we fly a ton. Unfortunately, not together, but when we do fly, we see demand pick up business-wise as well as retail and pleasure. So I think it's interesting to see that, yes, it's up 65%, but it only makes sense to take profits here because the market today, as you're seeing some other moving parts, if you have profits, and this is the only one that's up on the air that we're talking about, by the way, I think it makes sense to trim here. I actually do own Delta, but bigger picture, United Airlines, you know, it's trading a 4P of just 6.5 times moving. So that's cheap on the relative situation. So this $21 billion market cap company still has more friendliness, if you will. So I'm trying to help you with the dad jokes, but I do mm. want to trim and take profits. Trim and take profits. I'm going to move aside from that dad joke, by the way. Be sure to catch United Airlines CEO Scott Kirby, CNBC exclusive interview with Phil and the Squawk Box team tomorrow, 740 AM, Scott Kirby, United. All right, next up, we're going to go to the roads. Trucking company J.B. Hunt shares are down a little bit this year. They've recently warned about a longer-than-expected industry headwinds kind of hitting them here. Not a stock we talk a lot about, Jeff. What is your take on JBHT in the print? You're shaking your head. Uh, you're right. We don't talk a lot about J.B. Hunt, and I think it's an opportunity to buy it here. If you pull up a chart, still and you look at the Dow Jones Transports, in comparison to the S&P 500 year-to-date, that dispersion, it's the widest dispersion we've seen going back to the 1990s when I was still wearing my mullet in high school. So I think it's really interesting. J.B. Hunt, under the radar, I think technically it has the ability to take over its 200-day moving average at 178. And I think as long as you have an understanding and you use a stop, you can buy it here despite the fact it has been a laggard all year, down 11% year-to-date. Okay, now we're going to round out the hat trick or trifecta, whatever you want to call it, and that is... Prologis, Prologis, logistics, giant warehouse company. Stock's been down this month. Analysts of Mizuho Security saying they see risk heading into earnings because rent growth and demand continue to slow. Still, Jeff, the company did report strong leasing momentum and an uptick in e-commerce business last quarter. But I will note that this stock has been stuck in a warehouse. The price on the <laughs> stock, you see what I did there? The price on the stock is the same as it was two years ago as the market keeps making record highs. Yeah, and I think I want to be a buyer, so...